Hi, welcome to a really important video for psychology, which is on the levels of measurement that we as psychologists use. And there are four of them you need to know. There is the nominal level of measurement, the ordinal level of measurement, the interval level of measurement, and finally, the ratio level of measurement. Little word of warning here. These can be really confusing. Please take your time with them. Hopefully by the end of the video, you won't be crying. Okay, nominal level of measurement. Nominal level of measurement refers to data that is categorical data and has no meaningful order to it. That means if we look at the example here, we've got some data of categories of male or female. I can only give these categories the labels of male and female. There is no meaningful order to these categories. Similarly, with the example here of the pets that people might own, they might own a pig, they may own a crab, they may own a cow. There is no meaningful order to these particular labels. They're just the types of pets that people might own. OK, ordinal level of data is where there is some meaningful order coming in. So here we've got categories with essentially order given to them. So here is a little example of some people running a race. We've got fourth place there at the back, third place, second place and then first place there in front. So first place is going to get the gold medal number one, silver medal for number two, bronze medal for number three and no medal there for number four I'm afraid. So we might say we give Johnny the label of one because Johnny came first. We give Bobby two because he came second, Mark three because he came third and Roy four because he came fourth. So meaningful order. Okay, interval level of data is a little bit more detailed, a little bit more scientific if you like. It's where there are fixed intervals between each value and you're thinking, what does that mean? Here we go with the example of time. So if we take the example of time, I'll be able to say that 10 minutes is twice as long as 5 minutes. I will be able to say 2 minutes is twice as long as 1 minute. 60 minutes is what have I said, six times as long as 10 minutes. The maths there make sense, it's meaningful. Now, go back to the example of the race. So let's say I had the categories, the ordinal of first, second, and third. Now, that could become more meaningful devil, uh, data, what we call kind of internal, maybe ordinal data. If I said instead, first place, it was 11 seconds, followed by second place was 12 seconds, third place was 15 seconds. So much more meaningful units of measurements there when I use time instead of the positions of those races. Brings us on to the final one, which is ratio level data. Ratio is quite easy to remember because it's basically interval level data, fixed intervals between each value. Plus, you've got to have the extra kind of rule that there must be some meaningful zero point with this data. And I'll illustrate this just using the example of temperature. So with temperature, you can have a temperature of zero degrees, but zero degrees doesn't mean there's no temperature because you can, in fact, go lower than that. So temperature is not actually ratio data. Um, temperature is actually interval level data. Ratio data would be something like a woman who had, let's say, she had two children, so the amount of children people have. We know this is ratio data because if we take away her two children, instead give her a couple of pets, let's say a crab and a pig, we would say she has zero children. And that is the absence of children. You can't go less than zero children. And that is ratio data. Thanks very much for listening to this whistle stop tour of the levels of measurement please make sure to subscribe to us on the youtube channel